Welcome to our lecture online. Our next problem is kind of an interesting problem. We have a glass pitcher which has been filled all the way to the very top with mercury. And notice that when we start out at a zero degree centigrade temperature, the mercury is at the very top level. Then we heat both the pitcher and the mercury till they reach a temperature of 100 degrees centigrade and we notice that some of the mercury will come out and will be collected in this little cup down here when we measure it, it ends up being 15.2 cubic centimeters of overflow. Knowing that the volume expansion for mercury is 0 0.000182 per centigrade degree, we're now supposed to find the linear coefficient of heat expansion for the glass. Well, we can imagine that mercury being a liquid will expand more quickly then glass will for the same change in the temperature, which means that the volume of mercury will be greater than the volume of the glass pitcher after they've been heated to 100 degrees centigrade. The difference between the two volumes will have to be the overflow of 15.2 cubic centimeters. So, which means that the change in the volume for mercury minus the change in the volume for glass would have to be the difference of 15.2 cubic centimeters. Again, realizing that the volume of mercury will expand more than the volume of the glass. From that, we should be able to figure the linear coefficient uh, of expansion for glass. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, the change in the mercury is going to be as follows. It's going to be the bulk, or not the bulk, but the volume coefficient of expansion for mercury times the original volume for mercury times, and this is also for mercury, times the change in the temperature minus, here we'd have three times the linear coefficient for glass, because that's what we have to use, times the original volume for the glass times the change in the temperature, and that would have to be 15.2 cubic centimeters. Now, the only thing we have to solve for is this variable right here. So let's solve that equation for that variable. So we can see that, uh, first of all, I can, I can factor out, well, let's not even factor it out. Let's go ahead and move things around. So we have the bulk for mercury times, not the bulk, but the bulk coefficient of expansion, or the volume coefficient of expansion times the original volume for mercury uh, times delta T minus the 15.2, that would be cubic centimeters, equals, moving this across, it would be positive 3 times alpha for glass times the original volume for glass. There we go. And now we're ready to solve for the linear coefficient of expansion. So the linear coefficient of expansion for glass is equal to the left side, which is the bulk coefficient of expansion or the volume coefficient of expansion of mercury times the original volume for mercury uh, times delta T minus 15.2 cubic centimeters and the whole thing divided by three times the original volume. All right, now we need to know the original volume for mercury, otherwise I don't think, or for the mercury and for the glass, otherwise I don't think we can do that. So let's see if I forgot to copy something. And, aha, I did. I forgot to copy that the original volume was equal to 1,000 cubic centimeters. Otherwise, we couldn't do the problem. All right, let's go ahead and plug in all the numbers now, now that we know everything. So this is equal to... 0 0.000182 per centigrade degree times the original volume, which is 1,000 cubic centimeters, times the change in the temperature, which is 100 centigrade degrees, minus the 15.2 cubic centimeters. Make sure we don't confuse ourselves here. And the whole thing divided by three times the original volume. Of course, they both had the same original volume. Notice that the cubic centimeters will cancel out. Hmm. Hmm. I'm missing something. I'm missing a delta T. I need a delta T here, and 
I need a delta T here, and the delta T here would be 100 degrees centigrade. All right, or 100 centigrade degrees. There, that's better. There's a difference. 100 degrees centigrade is the boiling point of water. 100 centigrade degrees is the difference between two temperatures. All right, now I think we're ready to go. So the centigrade degrees cancel out, and it'll be per centigrade degree in the denominator, so the units work out. See, I was looking at the units, and they weren't working out. All right, let's go ahead and plug in what we have. 0 0.000182 times 1,000 times 100. Subtract from that 15.2, so I got 18.2 minus 15.2, so minus 15.2, which is 3. And divide that by 3. Divide by 1,000 and divide by 100. So the divide by 1 e to the fifth equals... It turns out that the linear coefficient of expansion for glass then ends up being 1.0 times 10 to the minus 5 per centigrade degree. At least this glass in this problem. And that is how it's done.